Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft Corp. We haven't talked about the company since a long time now and it's kind of trending uh, today and in the past few days really. You can take a look at the social trends here, the module that we have and you will see that it's kind of trending on stock tweets right now and also lots of impressions on Twitter. You would expect uh, the discussion to be going on on stock tweets though because it's dedicated to stocks. So we'll take a look at the stock and use our, our normal analysis here to see whether the company is a good buy right now just by examining the financials of the company and see whether it's actually worthwhile potentially adding to a portfolio. It's actually down 17% from its one year high. It used to be 350 almost. And um, we do want to kind of see what's been happening. Let's just say the last three years. So the last three years, the company has been creeping higher and higher. So the trend is, uh, is high, is actually bringing the company higher and higher. And the five year trend is also kind of the same thing. And if you take a look at the max, again, we are, we are actually seeing a similar story here of the stock uh, very <laughs> going very, very high and then having some down days lately uh, you know, with, the, with the rest of the market, really. So we do want to examine what the company, let me take it back to one month. So we do want to examine what the company is doing in terms of its foundational metrics here and financially pretty much. We do see a P ratio of 30, which uh, potentially points to a little bit of an overvalued company here. A price to free cash flow ratio, which is even more important to about 36, although a little bit down for what it was. And outstanding sales that are go, going lower, so there is a little bit of repurchasing going on. I'd like to see Microsoft at some point actually buying way more because their they're actually outstanding shares is 7.5 billion. That's a lot of shares. Of course, it has to do with the stock price as well, but 7.5 billion is a lot of shares. So they definitely have uh, some supply to buy there from. Now, I probably want to see whether the company stock price is uh, actually cheap enough to, to actually make sense buying for uh, Microsoft themselves, because I don't want Microsoft to be buying their own shares when they are expensive, but when they are cheap. So if that's the case, if, and they are expensive, it's better that they don't buy those. So uh, we do also want to take a look at what is going on with the, with the debt of the company and also the growth in terms of their financials. And uh, the first thing, the free cash flow to total liabilities here means that uh, we, the last, year, last year's free cash flow can be used to pay the total liabilities of the company pretty much in three years, 3.5 years almost. And that's great. We would like to see this number being less than five because it points to a company that can very, very quickly pay back its debt. And so if they ever need it, they can just allocate one, year's, uh, one year of free cash flow to pay that back. Now, of course, they're not going to have to, to do that, but it's good to know that the company has enough uh, money to do that if, uh, if that's required, because it points to how solvent the company is pretty much. Now, the five year revenue growth here, you will see it increasing about, uh, about 87% in the last five years. This is a massive company. You wouldn't expect insane growth, of course, but there's still some growth uh, going on here and that's uh, not bad at all. And the same thing with the net income, again, increasing very, very nicely here. All of these numbers, free cash flow growth as well and total year, uh, five total year equity growth is also pretty great. So the company's making some, some very good money here with great return on equity also. That's a number that I really, really like to see here. And that can actually allow me to buy a company at an even ex more expensive uh, price I like to see the, a high return on equity and great, great margins. Look at that, uh, 69 gross profit and uh, profit pretty much net income, 36.45. That's great, great net income margin. A typical one for a software company, but elevated still. Uh, not bad debt to equity ratio here. I mean, it's a little bit more than what you would like, but still, okay, not, uh, not terrible. As you'll see, we'd like it to be less than one over here, but uh, we're close to that. And we are looking at the tech company, so I'm not uh, hugely concerned unless it's very, very high numbers. And the dividend yield that uh, Microsoft is actually paying of 0.8% uh, with a dividend payout ratio of 25 almost percent, which is safe. Uh, anything less than 50 is uh, generally speaking safe. Now, I do want to take a little bit of a closer look at the financial statements and especially the cash flow statement here. I want to see what's going on with the free cash flow. It is uh, 31, uh, 32, 38, 45 and 56 billion increasing every year. That's great to see. And the net income is 61 and you'll see that it closely res resembles the free cash flow. That's a very, very good to thing to see. Uh, because you know that the company is profitable and it's making free cash flow from its income pretty much and not from other 
metrics like, for instance, um, uh, stock-based compensation or depreciation and amortization, which is still quite some. You'll see here it's about 20 billion here, these two values over here. So these are added back to the, uh, to the cash flow. To the free cash flow that is uh, because the free cash flow is operating activities minus capital expenditures and so this can actually artificially sort of elevate that so th you have to bear that in mind i have mentioned it in other videos as well now we do want to jump to our stock evaluation tool and see what makes sense to pay in terms of the company's uh, stock price because uh, the company is great i mean we do know that their numbers are looking great here and if everything keeps increasing, they don't have much debt, uh, they seem to be having awesome revenue and sales, but we do want to see whether it actually makes sense to buy at this price, that's the point. And so, let's take a little bit of a closer look here. You will see that the revenue growth has been 5, 22, 14, 13 and 17 over here. So we, the averages are pretty much laid out here and uh, we probably want to go with something like, let's just say 8, uh, 10 and 12 here. I think that makes sense based on the previous revenue growth. The net income margins are again sitting at similar ranges. That's something that you love to see. You want this to happen. Steady companies. And uh, we're going to go 20, 25, and 30. And uh, free cash flow margin, again, kind of similar. Great thing to see. We're going to go 90, 100, and 110. And uh, probably be totally safe with that. And an annual return of 13% because we can get 10% out of a normal ETF, like an SP 500 ETF, annually. So we want to be making a little bit more here. So we hit cal calculate and uh, the values that we're getting, you'll see that we are actually much, much uh, lower than the current price. And so this, remember, is the max price to pay today in order to achieve an annual return of 13% having these estimates here. And so these uh, results tell us that while the company is amazing, the current price is expensive for us to get into the company right now. So I would like to see some decline in order to purchase the company. And frankly, I would be willing to purchase the company probably at about 130 or 140 right now. Now that may never happen and so I won't be purchasing, but um, I want to be buying the company stock price when, when I know that it makes sense to buy it and not uh, because it's doing great just buy it at any price. That's the whole point of actually investing in the sensible manner. And so that's what I wanted to talk about in terms of Microsoft, great company, but uh, I'll have to wait it out and uh, try to get it at a better price. I'd love to have some, but again, at a better price. So let me know if you're holding it. Uh, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking about Microsoft. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe and like it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take a look at uh, this other video that I made earlier, and it's discussing Wix another very well-known company that I think it's interesting to take a look at. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.